crypto so with more crypto gains what's going on guys so a little geek fest today and that is how to use python to generate ethereum addresses on the web 3. now if you google this stuff a lot of people make it super complicated i'm going to make it as simple and clean as possible and direct to the point so you need a couple things you need to download anaconda which is a python version and then you want to install the jupyter notebook and then you want to in install the web3.py library which connects to the ethereum blockchain so it's really not that hard download the anaconda which is basically your base python install okay it's about 500 megs now, from a security standpoint, how secure is this Ethereum address that is generated by this? Um, I think it's pretty secure. Um, you know, ultimately, the best way to generate an Ethereum address is always offline, downloading GitHub, you know, stuff. But again, this is just me messing around with Web3, which I think is pretty cool. So I've always wanted to learn Solidity. Um, just moving into the future. I think it's something in my tool bag that I should have and You know, this is one of the steps kind of in that direction. So downloaded it for Windows and I'm just gonna take the all the standard stuff. I'm not going to select this now. I know more advanced installations They will tell you to use virtual environments, but that's more for an experienced user down the road I mean, I'm trying to keep this as simple as possible now i did notice this package kind of grinds a little bit at the end but you just have to be patient all right that took about five or six minutes so be very patient with this installation package next and we're gonna not do the tutorial all right anaconda is installed so next we need to start running anaconda so type in anna command prompt hit enter and this basically pulls up a command line uh, version of anaconda python so anaconda is just a product name for the package of python now you could install python by itself but it may not be as user friendly so the next step is installing the jupyter net um, jupyter notebook the jupyter notebook allows you to run code test code save code in a nice friendly environment and here's where it gets really slick it uses technology called pip which automatically goes out and installs these packages so you simply paste in pip install notebook hit enter and magic it goes out and slurps in the jupyter notebook next we're going to install the web3 dot pi which is what gives you the magic of connecting to the blockchain hit enter like i said this is all very slick and a lot of people get into too much detail and the knowledge isn't practical and it just it's super confusing like i said i want this to be the most direct way to get to the goods of generating an Ethereum address. Now, why would you want to do this? Maybe you just want a fresh wallet. Maybe you don't trust your MetaMask. Uh, maybe you just want to experiment, whatever. Maybe you want to generate a bunch of addresses. Um, this makes it very easy to do. All right, that's done. So we can go ahead and minimize that. And then we are going to fire up Jupiter. Now, again, don't get confused. There's three parts to this. Installing anaconda which is the actual python installing jupyter notebook which is your interface and installing this library which allows you to connect to the blockchain so we fire this up jupyter notebook and then it will create a web friendly interface um, notebook we're going to go ahead and do this in chrome all right so now we have this interface it may look a little um intimidating but really it's not so first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a new folder okay untitled folder we'll click on that we'll rename it and we'll call it web3 enter all right double click now what we need to do is think of this as similar to microsoft um, um one or whatever it's 
it's a notebook that's holding all your files. So we're going to hit new Python three. So this opens a script and then we're going to call this make wallet. Okay. Enter. All right. Now all we do is paste in the little script. Okay. And then we hit run boonie boom. Uh, that's it. That's all there is to it. I just generated a nice fresh wallet using Python and the web three library. And then basically you would just import this private key into your MetaMask as usual. And if I wanted to repeat this again, I could just click on this, hit run again. And let's see here. And then it will just keep changing. I just keep generating. Now you could create a little loop on this or whatever. If you want to generate 50 and take whatever you want to do. But when you're done now, personally, if I generated this, I probably wouldn't save this. I would record this somewhere safe and then I would delete it. So I'm just click, I'm clicking on it. And then I basically will just clear it out by deleting the cell. Okay. And then I could save that code for later if I needed to create another wallet, but then I would just generate it and go down to the next one. I don't necessarily have to run it. See, that's the beauty of Jupiter is I can run just this. So whatever little module you're clicked on it will run that and then it makes your you know makes your code so there's that edit delete hope you enjoyed today's video like and subscribe as always this is crypto slow if you're not talking gains then we're not talking